Premiere Pro and other programs can work natively with ABC HD, but what about DaVinci Resolve? Let's take a look. AVC HD is a very popular and common video format for consumer and semi-professional video cameras. It uses the H.264 video codec. On the camera, files are generated in chunks of 4GB each to fit the file size constraints of FAT32. It means that a one hour recording will be split up into three to four files depending on the video quality and resolution set on the camera. Premiere Pro and other video editing programs can import the files directly from the camera and process them as one file. DaVinci Resolve doesn't have that option, so we need to do the merging of the files manually before they can be imported and edited on the timeline. I've tried a few programs, the most promising being TX Muxer, as I've linked to in the description. It's very easy to work with, and it does the job. The joint files just can't be imported to Resolve. I've tried all the settings here, but nothing seems to work. If any of you know about a tool that can do the job, please let me know in the comments. I ended up using the Windows command prompt. It sounds complicated, but it's rather simple once you know the commands. It's all in the description. By the way, I have a bonus tip, so be sure to stick around till the end. Arrange the desktop so you have the command prompt and a blank notepad document side by side. You can get to the command prompt by typing CMD in the start menu. Copy the commands from the description to notepad. Connect the camera via USB and note which drive letter it gets assigned to. In my case, it's drive E. I'm unsure if all AVC HD cameras uses the same folder structure, but on my Panasonic HDC SD700, it's as you see here. Now navigate to find the video files on the camera. I have two longer recordings I need to merge and copy to my PC. Still, if the folder structure is different on your camera, you can navigate to the MTS files and use the same methods shown here. Edit the command to fit the names of the files you need to merge and copy, as I do here. Finally, enter the destination and name for the merged file here. It's important not to have any spaces in the destination path or file name itself, otherwise Windows will not let you copy. Now copy-paste the edited command lines to the command prompt. E colon moves to drive letter E, CD backslash moves to the root directory, CD private moves to the private directory, CD ABC HD moves to well, you get the picture. The copy slash B command makes a raw binary copy of the files and joins them into one file. When hitting enter, the copy starts and after a few minutes, your file is ready for DaVinci. But why not just copy the MTS files as they are and join them on the DaVinci timeline? All files less than 4 GB of size you can copy directly, but the split up recordings will drop a few frames every time you transition from one file to the next if they aren't merged properly before you import them to the timeline. Here a little bonus tip. If you receive a large zip file split up in a number of smaller zip files, 
you can also use the copy slash b command to join them. Just switch out the MTS with the zip files and you are good to go. Now you have the full sized file ready to unzip if your unzipper by any chance doesn't support files that have been split up. Thanks for watching. There is more where that came from right here. I'll see you in the next one.